So now that we got our trailer in place, we wanna make sure that we're not gonna have any shadows from the sun or any obstructions casting over our solar panels. Next thing is to drop all four jacks and get this level. So now that we got all of our jacks leveled out and the eyeball test is passed, it's time to step up and mount your cameras. So before you go ahead and mount your camera head, it will come floppy right out of the box. You'll want to go ahead and tighten it up with any of the tools provided by Street Smart. You'll for sure have an Allen wrench, or if you have one, you may have a T15 screwdriver handle. You can go ahead and just start tightening up that screw. It's just a little set screw. But now it's time to install your bullet camera. You've already put your jacks down, made sure you're level. You haven't touched the solar yet because now you have a little bit more space to work. First thing you're going to do is make sure you have your T10 screwdriver or the tools that Street Smart has provided, most likely an Allen wrench. Next thing you're going to want to do is take your safety cable. You're going to hook it into this spot up here, mark safety wire. Once you got that locked in, you're going to be good to let that rest and hang the camera. Next thing is you might have plastic around the top of your ethernet cord. This is gonna provide power and then also all the data going through the camera. Last step before you start screwing anything down, make sure you have enough slack in there with your ethernet cord. Go ahead and plug it into the uh, port mark POE as power over ethernet. Go ahead, you're gonna to wanna to line up all of your black markings. Again, use the tools provided by Street Smart. You'll tighten in all four screws. And then the last step, once you get the camera up, we'll be tightening down the set screw on the top. And again, we showed you earlier, it'll be just a set screw up here. That takes a T15 on these bullet cameras. Now you got it locked into place. Go around, do the other side. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure your solar panel is facing south and at a 45 degree angle. If you got your phone on, you can always use your compass feature. Make sure that you have them facing south. Pull your safety pin for travel. Next thing then, that will allow you to be able to start rotating your panels. Push in, turn the handle. Lock it into place. Again, lock it into place. Last step, as you can see, is we gotta get our cameras up in the air. Make sure you don't have any overhead power lines before you start cranking these up. 